Hi, I'm Nicole from Data School Cohort 20. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a curved bump chart. Bump charts are great for comparing the change in rank of something over time. Here I've created a very basic bump chart. It shows the subcategory of items sold in the superstore, ranked by which sold the most items in each month of 2019. For this example, I'm using the sample superstore dataset, which you can find in the description box below. We can see that binders was the subcategory which sold the highest number of items throughout most of the year. As you can see, when making a bump chart, Tableau automatically joins the data points with straight lines. But what if we wanted to take our bump chart to the next level and make the lines curved like this? Lucky for us, Kevin Fleurlidge has a template available online, which you can find in the description box below. You will need to download both the Excel file and the Tableau workbook to create a curved bump chart. Let's start by opening up the Excel template. There are three sheets in this template. The entry sheet is where we will enter our data. The second sheet pulls the data from the first sheet and calculates a bunch more values needed to create the curved bump chart. And the third sheet will be used inside of Tableau to create the smooth curves. We don't need to worry about the second and third sheet. All we need to do is amend the values inside the first sheet. So go ahead and clear the contents of these cells and let's populate them with our data. I have already done this for the sample superstore data set. So let's have a look. The dimension column are the things in your data set that you want to rank. In our case, these are the subcategories. We want to rank the subcategories for each month in 2019. So in the actual time column, I put in the names of the months from January to December. Each combination of dimension and time should have a separate row. So each subcategory with January, then each subcategory with February and so on. Now let's look at the time column. This column tells Tableau the order of the actual times. So very simply, I have assigned the numbers one through 12 to the months January through December. Lastly, you will need to fill in the rank or measure column. If your data set already includes the ranks of the dimensions, you can fill those into the rank column. But if your data set does not already have the rank in it, then you will want to fill out the measure column. Make sure to fill out one or the other, but not both. In the sample superstore data set, I know how many items in each subcategory were sold in each month. For example, 19 appliances in January and so on. But I don't know how each subcategory ranks compared to all the others. So I have filled in the measure column. Once you have filled the template with your data, most of the work is done. Let's save the Excel file and switch to Kevin's Tableau workbook. Once you're inside the workbook, go to the curvy bump chart sheet. A beautiful curvy bump chart has already been created using the data set in the template. In the data pane, you can see that this was achieved using a lot of calculated fields. For example, this one draws the curves which connect the dots in the bump chart using a sigmoid curve. Understanding what each calculation does is beyond the scope of this video. All we are going to do is replace the data set from the template with the one we just created. So right click on the data source, click edit data source, and then navigate to the template. You might need to adjust the path order to include the whole range of your data. And there you have it, a curvy bump chart in just a few simple steps. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you now feel confident to make your own curvy bump chart. Please check the description of this video for links to additional material you might find helpful. If you enjoyed this video, 
you'd love the radial chart video by my colleague Gordon. Click the link on the screen to watch it next.